Previously on Danganronpa 2. Who was the version of Monoku which has his body all stretched out? It's gross, really gorgeous, it's kinda awesome! Wanna wave my big Audi belly button in your face? Kaboom! Uh, no thanks, just imagine it makes me wanna- like... And now, back to the island. Hello! This is Nickel B, back with some more Danganronpa 2. When we last left off, we gather all the clues to discover who the hell killed Tagami, Fat Tagami. Now we go to Craggle Rock, I mean Monokuma Rock, I mean Mount Rushmore. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> hey, what the heck is that mount? When did that get there? That's been there for a while, man. Come on. Hurry up. Keep up. Keep up, not Hagakure. Never mind that. How do they even make a mountain ship like Monokuma? No. <laughs> oh, look at me! I'm, I'm the president of everything! <laughs> Four presidents of Monokuma. That story, that story might be true after all. There might be an enormous organization involved in all this. You mean what Tagami said before, right? You are right. Yeah, yeah, he's, we still needed his knowledge. <laughs> Damn it! He still didn't explain why <laughs> why he was acting so weird since the last game! And why he was so fat! No, I must poo again! I can't believe he's dead. I having a seizure! Cat's okay, having a seizure. Okay. <laughs> Nanami is just like, like, uh... <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh, what happened to, to Gundam and Fuhiko? Yeah, you mentioned it. It appears they aren't here yet. I got it! Uh, uh, oh, no, he probably ran away, little pussies. No. Oh, ah! Uh, oh, hell no, no way I let them escape, you know! Oh! Look, I dragged this one back over there! Fuck with me! Uh, I, I'm telling you, let me go! How the fuck? Holy shit for a plush, you got, you got some muscles, man. Hey. Damn right I do! Uh -huh. Hey, now, you keep at butt! I'm gonna just pick you up! Look at these claws! I'm not fucking around! I'm Wolverine! Hey! Hey, Fuyuki, what were you doing all this time? No, nah, I, I really wasn't really doing anything, you know? Just hiding evidence that I murdered somebody. I mean, what? I was chilling my room when I suddenly heard that fat bastard got killed. Shit, who the fuck cares about that anyway? You. You accuracy seems so irresponsible. Do you understand? We've been doing our best to investigate the murder, even though we don't want to just to survive. Wait. Mahira, that's enough. You too, Fuyuki. You dumbass. Man, fuck all your shit. Fuck your titties. <laughs> and I guess we're waiting for Gundam. What happened? <laughs> I am <laughs> right here. I've been here this whole time. Behold my awesome Remember this well. A main character arrives when he intends to. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Did you find your demon earring, by the way? Huh? Hey. <laughs> uh, seems you noticed it too. <laughs> <laughs> I did, then I'm right. Well, now. What are you guys hearing back? Is it? Yeah, I saw it around his ear. Was it? All right, now that everyone's all together. That yeah, must be what it is. So he found a way to get under there. <laughs> I broke through it with the power of my dark devils of demon destruction. Let's take the secret entrance to the trial field. It's right up here at my Bonacuma butt cheeks. Go! <laughs> Please wait a second. What's this? Mind me, what are you doing here? My, 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 me, what, is, what are you doing here? Nobody asked for you. Get out of here, slut! I, I, I. Hmm, do you actually want to join in? Do you want to taste how proud you are at the class trial? You're an even bigger mask than I thought! Dirty, dirty, dirty whore! <laughs> oh, well, uh, I'm, I'm a brother who don't sound his little sister. I shall allow your pleasure participation. See ya later. Oh, I'll go home with you guys. See you, see you later, losers! Oh! Huh? He told us to come, but how do we get in there? <laughs> It'd be funny if there really was just like, it was just Monokuma's butt, just like, on the side of the mountain. <laughs> come on, you gotta dig in there good! <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> the door is locked. Oh yeah, you gotta jiggle a little bit. Oh, that's a stop. That's a stuff. Go! Go! <laughs> now nah, fuck this. No, nah, I'm just messing with you. The entrance is actually on the front. <laughs> oh man, it's around your crotch though. That's not any better. <laughs> Too bad, you're gonna have to pick one. I don't see any doors or, or vehicles. You mentioned something about a secret entrance, was it? Secret entrance. Secret freaking entrance, Monokuma Rock. In his mouth. <laughs> Roar! Ah! What? What the? thing shaking? Th this is dangerous. Everyone, please get down. Roar! I'm a fiery laser! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's an escalator. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> something came out. <laughs> 
<laughs> Shoot the whoop, motherfuckers! <laughs> Could it be? Is he telling us to enter? What? <laughs> oh, look, he's only little hamster. Such a suspicious or Even Crimson Steel Elephant Mega Magazine is trembling with fear. Oh, that must be. Wait, which one is that? Is it the one in your collar? <laughs> oh, I'm so totally suspicious. Hey, hey, oh, well. Hey, hey, hey. Forgive me, seriously. Just forgive me already. God damn it. What did I do to deserve this? Hey, why don't you just stop it? Stop it. I mean, none of this is real anyway, right? It's all in my head, all in my horny brain. Like, not, not even remotely. No way, no way, no way. There's no way, there's no way we'll find the killer. We're all gonna die, dude. Stupid. Shut up, shut up, fat hog, great. <laughs> no, dude, no, we're all gonna die. Playing with this anyway, if you're really abandoned, man up for God's sake. God, you are all a bunch of pussies. I'm more man than all of you. <laughs> We've come this far, we have no choice but to keep moving forward. Right, there's nowhere for us to run. We need to do it. Mm. What needs to be done? That's the worst decision. I'll just follow you guys. If this were a video game, it has a very high it have very high difficulty level. Let's do our best to clear the game. <laughs> oh, a joke came out of me. Shaking with fear and nervousness, I hesitantly, lif hesitantly lifted my feet and stepped onto the escalator. I won't think any anymore. If I think I'll run away, all I could do is stare up upward intensely as the escalator carried me into Monokuma's gullet. <laughs> Woo! Here you go. When each of us entered the Monokuma Rock. Oh! Yummy! Mm, yummy in my tummy! Ooh! Oh! Holy shit, that gave me gas! <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Arr! Oh, that's better. Oh, here we go. Huh? This is an elevator! Yes, we get it. We know. <laughs> wow. Oh man, Monokuma, you're so cheap. You just used the same, the same set from the last game, didn't you? <laughs> it's the same fucking elevator, too. Same fucking camera angle. Oh, there's the same camera taking the picture of us as we stand in the elevator. I see this. This entire rock is an elevator. Once again, Monokuma's doing what he pleases. However, however, if he's gone this far, maybe made something like this, I don't think he's playing around. Even so, we're going pretty deep. Deeper. Deeper. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> You're right. Her an unnerving chat chattering is sound, sound inside my head. She realizes the sound of my teeth. All I can do is purse my lips, toast highly... Uh, so everyone else couldn't hear it. Wee. Down we go. There we were, listening to unpleasant roars. The elevator plunged deeper and deeper, deeper into the earth. <laughs> so I test passed before the elevator finally finished descending. Then the elevator door slowly opened. It is the same place. God Welcome. dang it. Well, it's not the same. Totally. Look, hey, there's a big iPad up there. We didn't have that shit back in 2000... whatever. <laughs> whenever that other game was made. It's a slight upgrade. Yeah, whatever. What, whatever you say, loser. <laughs> you cheapskate. Man, fuck you. Okay, welcome! Ta-da! This is the class trial field! How do you like it? It's a special place that will decide your fates. Are you... Man, what the hell is he thinking? Locking us up in some shitty-looking place like this. Are oh, you fucking crazy? Don't mess with me, asshole! I'll fucking fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> Don't fucking fuck me, bro! <laughs> Play it all you like? Oh, I'm used to it, but now. <laughs> Seriously, I've just... I've had enough to hear with you guys! Come on, you're wasting your time and energy! Hurry up and take your system where your names are written! See, so everyone's here. Everyone knows, even if we try to resist it, won't change it. God dang doodly thing. Just as Monica Mortar, we walked towards the season that we had assi been assigned. At this point, we need to find who out who killed Tagami. Oh, dear. Oh, by the way, I was thinking what, uh... Uh, Nikon said about... If so something... Was, the diameter was only like a few millimeters, so that it wasn't just like the width of it or whatever. So I'm thinking he w he wasn't killed by that knife, was it? He was killed by the sh the missing shish kebab thing. So I'm not sure what the knife there is exactly. Oh 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 oh! Also also, I'm think I'm actually I actually I do have an idea. I think maybe that knife like I don't know if Chigami was trying to kill somebody. Or what exactly happened, but I think I have a feeling that Kameda might have gotten cut because he said "ow," you know, he was like "ow," and I'm, maybe that's the knife that did it to him. And I'm thinking maybe the reason why he was looking pale earlier or something was maybe he actually got injured, and he's got an injury or something, and he's he's feeling sick from it, like the loss of blood. That's that's my theory. I was I was sort of thinking about it the other day. I was like, mm, let's see if I'm right. Yeah, he was overly critical, arrogant, and condescending. <laughs> But he also had a strong sense of responsibility. He's ser seriously, that was just the tip of the iceberg in the other game. 
We were panicking. We accepted his role as a leader and tried his very best to keep us together. Guy like him. Bye. So got murdered. He was so fucking bad. <laughs> Person who did it is one of us, huh? My hey, huh? Wait, why is my picture up there? I'm already dead, stupid. <laughs> Can't believe it. There's no way I can believe it. But if it's really true. <laughs> Could it be me, Johnny Young Bosch, the killer? We found out by any means possible, because that's our only option. There's no way for us to survive unless we sacrifice the killer. Dude, is he gonna, is he gonna sing himself a song like Nagi does? And so, this thrive burning billow trial billing with hope and despair has begun. Oh, I didn't do a song like Nagi does. Trial for life, trial for life, dis trial for death, deception life, deception death, <laughs> treachery in life, treachery death. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I love that part. That was the best part of the whole game. In every single trial, he did it. It's like clockwork. All right, let's do this shit. No more mucking around. Okay, the bad thing about this, especially the beginning, is like, this is the first one. It's like, I have no idea, like, what skills I should pick. Oh, I can't pick any skills, because... Wait, really? Wait, is, is it just because I haven't purchased anything? Focus gauge decreases at a slower rate during con concentration and fever time. Yeah, I remember... Fo focus is something I really forgot to use a lot. In the other game. Illusion. The influence gauge... Influence gauge... Covers over time during concentration and fever time. Effective during non-stop, Eggman's Gambit, and the Panic Talks action. That sounds good, so... Uh, okay, I'm trying to just pick things that are relatively, like, I think, general. Like, that could generally help me. I can, oh, I can change the difficulty. That's good. It's all right. Just try it on hardest if I can. All right, let's do it. Are you ready? Oh! Oh, yeah, baby! Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. Okay, I'm hoping that... What are you doing? Mana me, what? Oh, that's not nice, Monokuma. I hit her from the ceiling. Okay, the good news, I guess, is at least it'll be fully voice acted, so I don't have to worry about doing any voices this on the trials like I did last game. I'm hoping the ex the uh, tutorials will be a bit better than they were last game. I remember them being kind of frustrating. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened. And that person will earn the right to leave this island. So if you fuck up, pow, run the kisser. Such a cruel rule. Before we begin, I'd like to confirm one thing. Is there really a killer among us? Most definitely. There's no doubt that the blackened is lurking among you. Such a sad state of affairs, isn't it? By the way, this class trial is going to be 100% fair. So there's no need to worry. Whatever. You fucked up. You fucked with us last in the last trial of last game, Monica. I don't believe you. I'm the type who hates favoritism and prejudice. Well, not as much as I hate Monami, of course. Oh. You hate me that much? <laughs> oh, no. She grow mushrooms on her now, head again. Now, let's begin. You're telling us to begin, but what are we supposed to do? No complaining. Let's just settle this with our fists. Were you even listening to the rules? Didn't that Byakuya bastard get killed in the dining hall, huh? Then everyone there is a fucking suspect. Yeah, yeah. What you're really trying to say is that you're not the killer, right? N no shit. You guys went off on your own and started killing each other. This has nothing to do with me. Huh? What does that mean? N anyway, why don't we try talking about the most pressing issue on our minds? Huh. The most pressing issue on our minds? Where we found the body. It's very strange to find a body underneath the table. Then, let's start with that mystery. Oh, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> the reason why Tagami's body was discovered under the dining hall table. We can start with that, but ultimately we need to find out who murdered him. If we can't do that, we're all fucking boned. I'm not thinking about if it's a waste of time. We have to do this no matter what. Okay, so the class trial's finally started. From this point on, I'll provide simple tutorials every Im at every important moment. Better explain it better this time, game. Hopefully, some of it will be uh, similar to the last one. I can sort of get it. Sorry, but excuse excuse, excuse my ear tainting rudeness. 
As things progress during each class trial, you will engage in a number of non-stop debates. All right. During these discussions, all your classmates will speak one after the other without any breaks. It's up to you to reveal any lies or mistakes that came with them their statements. So you have to use your truth bullets to refute what they say. If all the truth bullets you find during your investigation, only the relevant ones, will be loaded into the truth cylinder. Use the left stick and move the reticle to and then fire with triangle. Okay, that's the same. You also fire by tapping the statement directly. Okay, I can't really do that, unfortunately, because uh, <laughs> I'm looking at my computer screen, not my PS Vita, so. Thank you. I'm glad it didn't force me force the touch the touchpad stuff. That would have really made this hard. Pay close attention to each character's statements. Choose your truth bullets to blast the right ones. Note that if you run out of time, you'll automatically fail, so please be careful. Alright, so is it For Star Run during these arguments, you can review the controls. Right, good luck, have fun! Alright, so it's... Woo! Make your argument! Knife, bloodstain, gapes, gaps, floor. Gaps on the floor, knife, bloodstain under the table. Why was Byakuya's body in a place like that? Oh, I got focused too, alright. His body was underneath the table at the very back of the dining hall. After the killer murdered Byakuya, they probably moved the body there. Huh? Why? Obviously by hiding the body. <laughs> They tried to delay its discovery! Like a dog burying a bone! <laughs> well, what did you say was strange? Clear constructs the information. Alright. Why would after the killer murdered Byakuya, they probably moved the body there? Body there! No, that's wrong! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you yelling at me, dude? No, I don't think the killer moved the body. Huh? Why? Try to remember what the body looked like when you found it under the table. Yeah, it like exploded. Though there was a lot of blood everywhere, there was no sign the killer actually dragged the body through it. Yeah, I don't know. I think he could have still put a could have put a uh, a tablecloth underneath him. So that's why you think it's impossible that the killer moved the body. I get your point. I gotta say, it is kind of actually it's a bit nice having them all talking out to oh, this. And here I thought I had a genius idea. Shut up! <laughs> you are. I don't care what you are. The you hot girl of this so game. So stupid and boring and unpopular. Your life is meaningless. <laughs> Shut up, so God's energy. You're so mean. I respond better to praise, you know. <laughs> but if the killer didn't move the body, why was it under the table? <laughs> oh look, there are Cheeto some Cheetos under here. I better get those. <laughs> oh! Akuya was probably killed under the table. So wait, was somebody in the floorboards and actually stabbed him with the shish kebab? Is that like... I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the shish kebab thing. The skewer that... The, yeah, the skewer, yeah, that killed him, but... Well, how did he get all the way over? What? You think he was killed under the table? So Byakuya snuck under the table for reasons unknown, and that's when he was killed. Then, shortly thereafter, he found his body under the table. Th that does make sense, but why did he go under the table? <laughs> Obviously he was hiding so he could surprise us. That dude was always a big jokester. <laughs> what? Yeah, uh, no? <laughs> what the hell he was? You seriously couldn't tell what kind of person he was? <laughs> are you are you shitting me, big t big titted o Oshina? <laughs> Oshina? Hmm. Maybe he panicked during the blackout and dove under the table. It's a blackout, not an earthquake. Just because the power went out doesn't mean he dive under the table. The reason why is probably connected to what Byakuya was doing during the party. Don't you think? <laughs> uh, eating. The reason why Tagami dove under the table. It's connected to what Tagami was doing during the party, then it's probably... Oh, the body under the table is face down, as if Byakuya were reaching for something. Oh! Oh, the, this is it, right? Oh. Uh, it's 37% looks like I just made a full... Oh, god dang it. I thought... Well, he said it as if he's reaching for something. He said it as if he was reaching for something! He's doing it at the party. Sometimes it's hard to tell, like, understand exactly what it's asking for. It's like, it's kind of what Tagami was doing during the party. 
what he was doing during the party. What, what was it? It was confiscating shit, right? So, the Duralumum case, is that what it's saying? I, I don't understand what it. it uh. I can prove it with this. Oh, it is. The knife? Okay. It probably has something to do with the knife we found under the table. Ah, uh, okay. See, that. that Again, it just, I feel like, it, it, this same sort of issue I had with the last one, where it's just like, it's not really clear what it wants me to say here. It's not that I don't understand it, it's just I don't understand what it wants me to say. You know? Sometimes it, it's like, you almost feel like you're a few steps ahead of the game, and it's like, I don't know. Okay, Jesus Christ. Knife? Oh, you mean that thing that obviously screams, I am the murder weapon! Yakuya probably noticed the knife was hidden there. So in order to get it, he moved under the table. He was particularly sensitive to the presence of dangerous items. So I cannot deny that possibility. Okay, so he... Okay, so I feel like we sort of jumped something there. Okay, so he, he, he obviously saw, thought it was, saw that it was hidden under the table, and that's why I get it. I was thinking because he had it with him, and... Okay. But how did he notice that there was a knife under the table? If he knew beforehand, he probably would have done something about it before the blackout, right? Then, instead of knowing about it beforehand, maybe he saw it right at that moment. Like, for example, he might have seen someone trying to take the knife out from under the table. No, that's not possible. What? Uh, I seem rather confident about that. Of course. I have proof to back me up. <laughs> this is almost like a real trial! <laughs> During the previous statement, there was only one there was only one weak spot. But from this point on, there will be various weak spots staying in your way. Okay. No matter how many weak spots there are, there will only be one liar contradiction in the bait at a time. This means there will be false weak spots. Should false weak spots truth pull, not only will you fail to refute what was said, but you also lower your trust with everyone and your influence gauge will take damage. If your influence gauge is zero, you will fail. So please be careful. Just rely on your own logic to determine which weak spots are actually lies or mistakes. All right, this is all the same. Unfortunately, I have my concentration thing, which I'm not going to forget to use this time. I feel like the statements are moving too fast for me to aim. However, this does, uh, does consume the focus gauge, so please be careful. For start during these arguments, complete the control. All right. <laughs> Guessing probably the glowing paint. Gaps in floorboard, AC timer, night vision goggles. Blood knife again. Let's stand under the table. All right. I'm sure Byakuya ducked under the table during the blackout. That sounds correct. Okay. If that's the case, during the blackout, Mr. Ham Hands <laughs> must have seen the killer take the knife. But it was super pitch black. It was so dark I couldn't see my food. The Akuya couldn't see in the. Ah, dark here we view. go. I doubt he could have seen the killer. Here we go, night vision goggles. Okay, no problem. Blah, 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 blah. That sounds correct. That sounds correct. That's just funny when they fast forward. The Akuya couldn't see in the dark. Wrong! No. <laughs> oh, I miss doing that with Nagi. Nagi was probably the only one who was able to see in the dark. Why do you say that? He was using those night vision goggles we found under the table. He could have seen what was happening. So, are you saying Yakuya was the one who used those night vision goggles? Yeah, that seems to be the case. Your reasoning is out of focus. Ah! Whoa, what's happening? No, that's obviously wrong. It should be the other way around. The other way around? Seriously? The killer used those night vision goggles, not the Akuya. Were you surprised my hero's sudden argument? Yeah, that's a new thing. <laughs> You're fucking wrong, stupid! Where are you even looking? I'm sitting right next- standing right next to you, Mahiro. Just between you and me. I was also surprised. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, it's getting up, sorry. <laughs> Now then, with this kind of argument surfaces, surfaces you will go into one-on-one -on -one debate called a rebuttal showdown. 
Oh god, I hope it's not that fucking dance, dance revolution bullshit. I hated that last game. So, you have to counter the other person's claim. Draw out their, draw out their weak spots and argue against them. Please counter the other person's remarks with the directional buttons or by swiping the screen. Based on the shape of the remarks, it's important to know whether to cut vertically, sideways, or diagonally. Oh. Oh no. This might be one of the things I do have to use my touchpad for. Based on that, you can skew the debate's mood to your advantage. On the other hand, if you ignore the other person's remarks, it will skew towards their advantage. The bottom right-hand corner of your screen, a number shows that the sharpness of your counter is displayed. It's the number of times you can cut remarks during the round, one round of the debate. You will lose counts of sharpness even if you miss, so please be careful. When this skews to your advantage for a certain length, the other party's argument changes. This means conversation, conversation will develop. Okay, if that happens, they will end up divulging some weak spots. However, you cannot normally cut remarks that contain weak spots. Instead, it will skew the mute toward the party's advantage, plus it's gonna be very big. What? Okay, now I have no idea what's going on. What? Just like you can be, please refute a weak spot. Okay. When using this, when you're using the stream, please argue by swiping with two fingers. Now, of course, if you don't have the correct truth blade, you will not be able to cut the opponent's remark. Okay, god damn it. See, this is what I, it's like, ugh, I wish it would give me a, it would show me what this is, because I feel like I'm gonna fuck this up already. Oh, uh, what, what's a truth blade? I'm totally sorry, apparently there has been a delay in contacting you. I'm sure the person charged contacting takes a very long vacation. This no truth blade, bullets become, are called, will be called truth blades, because of reasons. And that's about it. Don't be any other changes to your handbook. Only change, only the name was changed, but don't you think the change of feeling is important? First start during these arguments, you're, okay. Fuck man, I'm gonna fuck this up already. I already know. I'm so fucking screwed. Knife, irons, and storage door little case. If you just use common, the killer obviously uses those night vision goggles. That's got it. I can't back down. Duel. What? What? What in the fuck? Okay. Uh. Advance. Where's your proof that the killer used them? Because if they use night vision, then they could have killed Shut Bukia, up. even in the Shut dark. Shut up. I mean, in reality, that's what happened. Oh, the I see. Were a plan in the killer brought them to the crime scene. Found a hole in your argument. I'm sure. Tagami brought the language god, and you refute Mahir's claim with evidence. I mean, the girl looked so I see what it means, okay. Urgh! Okay, alright, that wasn't too bad. Alright, I didn't need the swipe no, thing, that's Yakuya good. was definitely the one who brought those night vision goggles. Definitely? But why? Because of this! Because of this! Because of this! had with him during the party. We found a smaller case for storing the night vision goggles. Which means we can assume that the night vision goggles were kept inside that Duralumen case as well. Woohoo! I said assume! Ibuki never uses such clever language! <laughs> Plus, Yakuya was the only one who could have taken the night vision goggles out of the case. Since he was carrying it around before the blackout in the first place. I see. When you put it like that, it makes sense. When you put it like that, you're right, I am kind of fucking stupid. Then, God dang it. was that knife inside the case too? If there were night vision goggles inside, it wouldn't be weird for a knife to be in there too. Wrong! WRONG, Hanamura! Be weird. I am weird. I, <laughs> times like this, I'd rather be fantasizing about tonight's main dish. <laughs> Up your skirt, I mean. Ooh, you totally mean that in a perverted way. <laughs> <laughs> the knife was brought in the door loom case along with the knife bag gals, too? No, that's not possible. That's just not possible. I must use my Nagi powers. I sit in the dining hall before I even start. I should be able to prove that with the duct tape. I see. Yes. Urgh. There was duct tape left under the table where the body was found. Huh? Duct tape. They probably hit the knife by duct taping it to the underside of the tape. Oh. Listen to Johnny Young Bosch. She's never wrong. Though Byakuya was thorough, even he couldn't have noticed a weapon taped to the underside of the table. This may be off topic. But why was Byakuya acting so paranoid? Not only did he bring a self-defense kit, but he had night vision goggles inside the case too. That's true. He went above and beyond being a little cautious. I now have some evidence for that it, too. That applies to the dangerous items he confiscated as well. It's one thing to be a little cautious, 
But performing a body check is a bit much. <laughs> Come here, baby. I know you're hiding some goods in those titties. He probably knew someone was planning to commit a murder. Are you saying he predicted the murder? <laughs> Could it be? Was he also in possession of the all-seeing eye? <laughs> <laughs> He's possessed, he possessed the Dagon eye. I knew it. You are, you are he, aren't you? You think so too, right, Hajime? Yes, stupid. You were with me. I uh, know. Why don't you? Why don't you say something for once? Fucking. <laughs> no, I gotta be the one to say it, cause I. It's like, dang it. I can prove it. With Rrr, look at this. Everyone, can you please take a look at this? Making me do everything, fake Nagi. Careful, the first kill will happen tonight. Someone will definitely kill someone. Beware! Beware! Hmm. The hell is this? What does it look like, Ashida? Hajime and I found this in Byakuya's cottage. It looks like a threatening letter someone sent for him. So, who's the someone? Nobody besides Monokuma would write such a dumb, threatening letter like that. Was it me? Hey, don't look at me, slut! Was it? Are you sure? <laughs> I don't have opposable thumbs! How the hell can I do that? The only lies I tell are friendly lies! No! They're still lies! <laughs> Oh, uh, poor Monami singing from the ceiling. So, Yaku Yaku became paranoid because of this threatening letter? He probably decided to throw a party because of the letter. What do you mean? By gathering everyone in one place, he tried to create a situation where everyone could keep tabs on each other. In doing so, he tried to put the writer of the letter in a situation where they couldn't act. But the letter might have been just a little prank. As long as he was determined not to let any of us die, he couldn't take that risk. His strong sense of responsibility he didn't believe the letter was legitimate. It's like, it's still like it to me. It still looks like Kameda is the most likely suspect here, but it's like, but he's pushing really hard. Like, so it just I don't know. You should have told us he received a threatening letter. If he had, we would have panicked. Yakuya probably knew that too. So, he tried to do something about it without telling anyone? I see. A strong sense of responsibility as our leader is his undoing. <laughs> my fatness was my own undoing? Screw that noise! Who the hell wrote that letter? Well, obviously, the <laughs> killer. The killer. As we slowly rotate, it's really one of us. Who is it? Among us, you're, who's the one who killed? Enough already! Go. Show yourself, you coward! Go, hamster power! If they were willing to come forward, they never would have committed a murder in the first place. Yeah, uh, kitty face. <laughs> no, no kitty face, Sionji. Only go for faces allowed here. But I still can't believe it. Someone in this room killed Tagami. There's no way I can um, believe that. Pardon me. Can I say something, please? What is it, Miss Sonia? I regret that I must return to this topic, but I just realized something concerning the night vision goggles. If Byakuya was indeed wearing those goggles, how did the killer manage to navigate in the dark? You're right. They wouldn't have been able to see anything without the night vision goggles. But if the murderer had the goggles when they took the knife, then how did Byakuya see them? Even if the knife bore some sort of mark, it would have been difficult to see it in that darkness. Because of the glowing tape. No killer definitely used a mark. Because this mark, the killer was able to grab it because of glowing paint. I like what the options was. Was Byakuya Tagami. Because he used Byakuya Tagami symbol. Even in the dark. In actuality, the knife we found under the table. Okay, so that makes it. Okay, so I was thinking it was actually night vision goggles used by the killer, but okay, so it was by Tagami. And the duct tape stuck to the underside of the table were both marked with glowing paint, right? Okay, so it looks like Tagami really wasn't trying to murder somebody, I guess, right? Well, I, I don't know. Wait, still a minute. So he was trying to. He saw that the knife was there and was trying to get to it. So maybe, maybe they put that there to lure him under there. But the thing is, how would they they would have known that he had night vision goggles and that he would crawl under there. But I, I don't know. Does that mean the killer painted them in advance? But painting them with glowing paint? It's as if they knew the blackout was going to happen. Well, duh. They had to have already known. That's why they used the glowing paint as a mark. 
So according to plan. Whoever set up the blackout is the killer. That seals it. The killer is whoever was in the office with the circuit breaker. Which means it was you, Peko Peko Yama. Shut up, Hagure. It's not him. Or I mean, yeah. Was this island not big enough for two glasses wearers? <laughs> She's not. How can you believe her so easily? <laughs> but with Echo's height, I do think she'd be able to reach the circuit breaker in the office. I, I don't care about a technicality like that. Echo's the one who tripped the breaker and caused the black. <laughs> I don't care, dude. You listen to me. I'm so much reasoning behind my stuff. Driven the breaker drink from the office. Echo was the one who caused the blackout. Is that really what happened? No. After this debate, blue colored weak spots will start. Start appearing. If we call the weak spots you see up till now, argue spots. Blue card weak spots will call will be called agree spots. Oh, okay. I'm shooting agree spots with truth bullets. You you need to flip your way of thinking. Instead of arguing with the other person's testimony it contains lies or mistakes, please fire the truth bullet to prove that the other person's testimony is correct. Oh, all right, that's new. If bullets merge with their weakness. It will become a logically sound argument. Ooh, it's a little hot in here. Oh my God, yeah. Ah. Oh. It's getting steamy. Mm. Now you must infer whether it is the best to argue or agree based on what's being debated. Wow, wow, all right. Well, then good luck, bitches. You're fucked. Oh, here we go. Da, 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 same song from the last game. Do, do. Like Amaro, Teoteros, and Chiakis. This is the exact same song. Hell yeah. I'm getting so many. Uh, so much nostalgia. All right. So wait, what was it? She could have caused the blackout in any Chiaki's oh Nekamaros. Nekamaro kept trying to use the bathroom since before this party started, so but someone was using it the whole time. Ah, I see. Okay. Okay, it's this one here. Huh? Why is it impossible? Okay, here we go. It's gonna be right. Not even before the I agree with that. Yes! Consent! Double power! Yeah! Woo! That was it. No, I think Pekka was telling the truth. Mm hmm Don't tell me you're <laughs> Not even before Pekka. the blackout. <laughs> I like I like being able to fast forward and slow down time. Makes voice sound funny. And yet it's nothing like that at all. <laughs> Nikomaru's account is actually Pekko's alibi. <laughs> so what if I am? <laughs> I have been trying to use it many times. When the door just won't open at all, I need to poo. It's true. Someone was occupying the bathroom for a long time shortly after the party started. And it was finally freed up after Byakuya's body was discovered. Uh, then the person who was in the bathroom that whole time was actually... Everyone else besides Pekka was in the dining hall after the party started, right? So was she in there when... When I but remember I went when I came in I couldn't open the door. I tried to open it and it was like right or, or was it did I just choose not to go in there? I, like right when I entered the building at first. I see. So there's no way anybody else could have locked themselves in the bathroom except Pecco. I I guess that would be true. <laughs> you locked yourself in the commode? You should have said so earlier. <laughs> what is that look? Oh my God! You were pooping. No way, dude! I'm yeah, totally into that. Actually, say that. Gosh, you are so insensitive. If she locked herself in the bathroom for that long. There's no doubt. It's shit. <laughs> what is? What is it with you and shitting? Need I? <laughs> it's shit. So much poo. God, I walked in there. It smelled like walking to death. <laughs> the poo was coming. Was bursting from the toilet. I could not flush it. More poo than I could have possibly imagined. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's no way she'd admit it. There's no way she'd admit she was taking a shit. <laughs> hey, weren't you guys taught any basic manners, or were you raised in a locker room? Raw <laughs> oh, meathead. Mm. Roy. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I pooed a little. It's fine. How about we stop talking about this and move on to something else? Don't worry. The smell wasn't that strong. I used the bathroom right after <laughs> so you can trust me. <laughs> I said it's fine. Okay, good, because I was actually lying. It was horrible! But still, 
You were in the bathroom for a really long time. Did you get food poisoning or something? As soon as I stepped into the office, I felt this sudden rush of pain in my stomach. Because of that, I was unable to leave the bathroom, including when the blackout occurred. Hey, how did it feel to do your business in the dark? <coughs> what did the you get excited? <laughs> what the? How am I, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> I find Pooh to be serious to be a serious aphrodisiac. Seriously, stop it. <laughs> Seriously, just just no. Nah. But still, your stomach pain. Was that really just a coincidence? Hey, what's the deal? Don't butt into other people's business, especially if you didn't do any investigating. <laughs> I'm only butting in because you fucking idiots are out of your element. <laughs> stop this childish nonsense. Yes. Just, what do you mean by coincidence? <laughs> what do you mean? Coincidence. My hamsters didn't wish to know. What I mean is, is it possible someone slipped her some laxatives? Yeah. Laxatives? If so, the killer could have tripped the breaker as soon as that girl left the office, don't you think? I see. That might have happened. Questions where Pegger's stomach ate was a coincidence or someone intentionally caused it. Okay, and the answer to the outcome of this trial could change drastically. Make your argument! Do it! Okay, now I have AC timer, night vision goggles, embarrassing pose, crotch, cr food crotch, and party dishes. And party dishes, absolutely. Tear pours heart and soul into cooking various party dishes. So, however, Connie and Pekka were the only one who ate them. However, uh, uh, Connie wasn't affected by it, so that's sort of the. You eat anything weird? I don't remember eating anything weird. Now that you mention it, you brought food to the office, right? Party dishes. Just a little bit from the dining hall. There might have been some laxatives in it, don't you think? Turo Turo cooked the food. How suspicious! Nah. I wouldn't do anything like that. Laxatives would ruin the taste. So wait, what is one of my shooting down here? Just a little oh, but it, oh, uh, uh, because the Kane ate it, I got it. I got you. In it, don't you think? So yeah, that is it. Okay. No, that's wrong. Not okay, so yeah, because the Kane ate it. Otherwise, the Kane would have been affected as well. I see. No, it's impossible that laxatives were slipped into the food in the dining hall because Pekka wasn't the only one who ate that food. The Kane ate some of it too. If the food had laxatives in it, I'm pretty sure Akane would have had stomach issues as well. I don't see me getting graded like I did in the other one, unless it happens at the very end. Because I think remember the other one, it would whenever I finished, it would always give me a grade when I was done. I feel totally fine. <laughs> My boobs feel fantastic. Thanks for asking. The dishes are innocent. Don't go making weird accusations. I apologize <laughs> for causing the scene. Fuyuhiko should apologize, not you. He's the one who made the laxative accusation. I was kind of thinking the same thing too, though, but I, I didn't really understand how. What the fuck did you say, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, Ashita's mad. Ashita smash. What is this bickering? Let's just dismiss Pekko's stomachache as a coincidence and go back to discussing the blackout. Yeah, yeah. We already know that, you trashy skank. You don't have to tell us. God damn. Trashy skank? <laughs> Man, will you people shut up trying to solve some shit? As long as the murder happened during the blackout, and the blackout itself is what is actually important. Really? Was it really coincidence? That, I find that hard to believe. So you need to make it clear how that blackout occurred. It's gotta be the AC unit, right? Our storage. Uh, oh. Chiaki's getting a Kamaru's account. Storage table room tablecloth. I want to bop you. Throw a stone and hit it. No. I need to use the remote control. They probably messed with the breaker. It does not have to be the breaker. They may have tampered with the power supply and transmitters, or maybe they caused a power surge. I bet it's really Monokuma's fault. <gasps> oh. Oh, that's what it was. It was a power surge. That's why they plugged in all those uh, 
those ironing things. The 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 plugged in all those irons, so it would cause a power surge. That's what it is. Okay. So it is the iron. It's irons and storage room. <laughs> Calm down, Jamuki. For sure, I already have that clue. All right. Power surge. Boom. I agree with that. Yes. Okay. Yes. That. Okay. I. That was. I didn't. I did not understand that one. The blackout was caused by a power surge. And, until I until she pointed it out, I was I was I was wondering I was like what the fuck was the point of that? I see. Of course, that's not clever, right. clever, clever. Someone caused it, which is why those three irons were arranged to cause the blackout. When you found them right after the blackout, the irons were still on, right? So by leaving those irons on in the storage room, they deliberately caused a power surge. Yeah, it seems that's how the killer caused the blackout. Stupid fool! No! Nikamaro does not agree. Calm down. Hold on a second. Let me speak too. I need a poo. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> you say the irons in the storage room were used to trigger the blackout? That's inexcusable. <laughs> Why are you so angry? I don't understand. It obviously had to do with shit. Shit. All right, bring it on. Hmm, I'm just getting angry just so you have an extra thing to do. AC timer, night vision goggles, drill room case, irons and storage. If the irons in the storage room caused the blackout, then for the killer to turn the irons off, you're saying they went all the way to the store, and that means everyone who was in the dining when the blackout occurred can't be a suspect. No, just because people were in the dining hall doesn't mean they're not a suspect. That the people in the dining hall weren't able to keep the irons caused the blood, and the killer had to go to the storage room and turn on the irons. Now do you intend to take back what you said? It's true, the irons are supposed to black, but that shouldn't be the only reason. The people in the and turn on the irons. Oh, I guess that wasn't it. Now, but the people in the dining hall weren't able to call you. The irons caused the blood. Crap. The oh, in the hall uh, I must have missed it. Blackout. Okay, it, the irons I thought I, I thought I answered it, and it. Okay, good. Okay. Wrong. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I thought I did it, and I hit it, and it wasn't counting it. It said like it was wrong. Okay, there we go. But they weren't the direct trigger. The direct trigger was when the air conditioners in the dining hall and office clicked on. The air conditioner. <laughs> The timers for both air conditioners were set to 11.30 p.m. 11.30 p.m.? Mr. Ham Ham's died around that time, too! You're right, you little psychopath. I see. When the timers activated the air conditioners, the breaker was tripped and caused a blackout. Okay, so... They knew that that was going to be just enough to get the breaker to go. Is that is that what? So they okay. So they had the so they had the three irons going, but that itself isn't enough. So to get the the breakers to go. So instead, they also had the air condi air conditioners, and I guess they knew that that was the threshold. That is what would cause it to. I see. I guess. Right? I understand. Indubitably. <laughs> indubitably. I don't know if that's is I actually you spell indubitably. I indubitably. Indubitably, they probably checked the old buildings and got doing it like poo advance and use the irons to nearly max it out. Yeah, okay. Exactly why I still point to you, Kameda. So once they set the air conditioner's timers, they just had to wait until they started up on their own. Right, okay. If so, even if Pekka was in the office, it still would have been possible to cause a blackout. Indubitably, <laughs> Miss Sonia. Not you too. Shut up, Soda. The energy usage, they probably asked Monokuma about it. Da, da, da. <laughs> Is she right? Such a hateful bear. You deserve to die a thousand deaths. <laughs> a thousand, you say? If I die that many times, I might really stay dead, you know? <laughs> Fortunately, I've died like a shit ton last game, and I still can't go back, bitch. You killed my maker, and I'm still alive. I don't understand it either. Shut up! You guys just stay quiet! I couldn't have prevented the blackout even if I was in the office. Even so, I feel 
regret. If I was in the office, I could have reset the breaker in time. And maybe the murder wouldn't have occurred. No. The breaker in the office was built into a high area of the wall that's impossible to reach. Resetting the breaker in that darkness would have been impossible. No matter what. Sounds like you don't need to blame yourself. It's a strange place to put a circuit breaker. <laughs> it's like we don't want people to get it. Even so, the killer is so sly. I'm starting to worry we may never actually find them. It's alright. You don't have to worry. Because they're just a petty killer, right? They can't defeat symbols of hope like you guys. Huh? There's no way everybody will lose now. This little incident will just be a stepping stone for you all. In the end, hope always wins. That's what I believe. What the fuck? What is going on with you? Now he is starting to show his crazy nature. But I... <sighs> You're bizarro... Bizarro, Nagi. Nagito? What happened to you? Huh? What do you mean? Well, you have been saying this whole time that there's no way a killer could be among us. Huh. Is that so? Well, let's just put that minor detail aside for now and talk about the incident. For now, we found out how the blackout occurred. But the question is, who caused it, right? What is he... Is he, like... What is up with him? Is he, like, really, like... Is he, like, insane or something? Like, so... He did this intentionally... Like, he intentionally killed... I mean, he killed Tagami, and then is helping them... Try to find out that he did it... So that he can give them hope or something? Is that, like... Because hope is so important! Hope! Hope! Or something? Is that... You're like a really bananas, Nagi. Anybody could have hid and set the timers for the air conditioners. Setting up the irons in the storage room could have been done before Byakuya set foot in the old building. What a shame. Any one of us is capable of that. What are you implying? He's just saying, after all this time, we still haven't made any progress. Huh? Even though we have been arguing for so long? <laughs> this episode has been over an hour already. Fortunately... Despite the fact that we've discussed this at length, there's not even one clue that leads to the kill. But that might be because there's no way any of us could be a killer. Oh. No, he is trying to. There's no way any of us could be a killer. Nyeh, nyeh. I knew it. You are the killer. You little psycho. You're changing your story again? Anyway, huh? I have an idea about what we all should do at this point. Has anyone thought about our situation like this? Instead of surviving by doubting others, isn't it better to get killed for believing in others? Oh snap. You are bananas. You are freaking crazy. Doesn't that mean... Are you saying we Well, except for me, because, you know, I actually did kill him, and I would be set free. Ha <laughs> ha, fuck all you... Ah! Uh. <laughs> Nagito. There's definitely something wrong with you. Yeah. <laughs> you guys only think there's something wrong with me because there's something wrong with you. Suspecting each other like this. There's no way that's healthy behavior. Let's stop this already. We don't have to find out who the killer is. I can't stand this anymore. I don't want to do this to my friends. I, I don't want to do this either. Mm. Me too. Please take me home already. <laughs> ah, I want to go home and eat candy. <laughs> uh, the first time I didn't think I didn't think Sionji could cry. <laughs> Ew. Stop it. If everyone acts like this, I Damn it, he's I'm fucking gonna... he's fucking evil. He's fucking bananas. Bananas, Nagi. Everyone calm down. Nagi bananas. We're all no. friends, aren't we? There's no way one friend would murder another. Then why did Byakuya die? Who cares? Let's just give up already. No. No, that's what I know what Nagi would do. Nagi would go and punch somebody in the balls and be like, ah! And just go, <laughs> He'd be like, a trial for life. Trial for death. Exception to life. Exception to death. <laughs> that's the real Nagi. There are no clues that lead 
to the killer anyway. Not a single one. That's wrong. I think. Yes. Did you say something? Gosh, we've already found a clue that might point to who the killer is. You know who the killer is? Yes. Yes, Chiaki! The killer? I don't know. But we do have a clue about a suspicious person. I think. I see. Then care to tell me, what's this clue you're talking about? First of all, let's try thinking about how the killer was able to obtain the knife during the blackout. Exactly. Didn't we already cover that. They use glowing paint as a mark. No, not that. I mean before that. Before? Yes, because where did the fuck the knife come from? How the- Oh, is she asking how the killer got close- got close to that table? If they had to obtain the knife by relying on the glow from the paint in order to do that. Okay, this is looking like it's obviously gonna end up being... Kameda. Oh my god, alright, so... Alright, I mean, I was thinking it wouldn't be him because it was too old, too obvious, but now it seems like it probably will be. If they had to obtain the knife by relying on the glow from the paint in order to do that, they need to get close to the table while it was still dark. And, well, what do you know? He was in the That's picture, right, wrist and close to the table. My hero's diagram might be useful here. Yes, here we go. Where everyone was standing before the blackout, right? Um, here it is. Yep, and he was standing close to the table. What do you know? That, wow, that isn't suspicious at all. <laughs> Just I thought this diagram is a clue. Who the killer is and how they're able to move to the table in the dark. It's clearly shown in this diagram. First, we need to guess how the killer was able to move to that table in the dark. Okay, we'll probably use something to help them move in the dark. Select a suspicious spot. Oh, the cord! The cord. Here. Of course. Yes, of course. Okay. Uh, doesn't make any sense. Uh. Oh, I'm... God dang it, I hope it ends up... It's gonna end up being him. So that... I hope so, because I was really fine and fucking annoying. Haha. <laughs> I hope you don't mean they turned on a light or something. No, they just grabbed the cord and moved towards it. It was a the lockout. There's no way the killer could have used the desk lamp. Of course, no way the desk lamp the killer used. The power cord! I can prove it with this. <laughs> Johnny Young Bosch power, go! They didn't turn the desk lamp on. They used its power cord. Power cord? Power cord! <laughs> <laughs> they could have felt their way to that table using the power cord, right? By doing that, the killer was able to move to the table and use the glowing paint to find the knife. And there's only one person here who could have done that. Yes. Who? No person could have possibly done it. Hmm, who could it possibly be? How about... Mm, I was ob it was obviously not Hunger Curry, no. I mean, it was you! <laughs> Poo! It was this loser right here. You're the only one! Nagito, bitch tits. Nagito, it was you, wasn't it? M me? I knew it. Judging from everyone's evil. positions before the blackout, the only person near the power cord was you. Which means... The only one who could have felt their way to the table using the power cord was... Nagito! Yes! That's just a coincidence! But still, you had a chance, right? A chance to hide the knife under the table? Exactly. The chance to hide the table was... When he was cleaning! Safe. Of course! No, Nagito, duh. Weren't you cleaning the dining hall all morning? If so... You would have had a chance to hide the knife. That's... If you factor in the power cord and the time you spent cleaning, you're the only one who could have done it. And also the only one who could have known the... Seriously! The power and stuff. That's all just a coincidence! <laughs> That's all just a coincidence! God, I hate your nasally sounding, weenie-ass voice. God, I just wanna... You are not Nagi. You're not nearly as cool as Nagi. You're Sephiroth Nagi. It's just one coincidence. It'd be fine. But when it's one right after another... We're gonna have to murder your punk ass. I wonder... Is something like that even possible? Alright, you got it. Go get him, Nanakuma. Okay! Ah! <laughs> Leaps on him. <laughs> oh no, get off me! Could it be? Did 
Did you give yourself cleaning duty on purpose so you could hide the knife under the table? Now that you mention it, Nagito did prepare the drawing to pick who cleaned the dining hall. Yes! And to be honest, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> I repaired a drawing because I assumed something like this would happen. You know, the troll parents just what I just think would happen. Whoever draws the chopstick with the red marker will be in charge of cleaning, okay? Does that sound fair? Okay. <laughs> you rigged the drawing, didn't you? That's how you got picked to clean the dining hall, isn't it? I don't know if you're the killer or not, but regardless, it proves that you're suspicious, right? <laughs> If that's the case, that strange speech you made earlier, that was part of your plan, too. Yes, get him, need I? You got us to lower our guard and tried to hide the fact that you did it, didn't you, you motherfucker? <laughs> motherfucker! Well, just admit it already! <laughs> Nagito, tell me you object to this. Frankly, I don't want to believe it either. We investigated together. You were so kind. You're the one who killed Yakuya. <laughs> Nagito, say something. Say something, loser. <laughs> oh, he's about to go crazy mode here. Here we go, right? Freaking bananas. The ultimates are working together to combat the despair of their friend's death. Ah, how wonderful. How beautiful it is. Whoa, you are. You are. You're like crazy. You are crazy, Nagi. Huh? His eyes are bananas. Those eyes. That moment, Nagito's eyes. Darkness in his eyes shone brightly as if layers upon layers of darkness were folding into each other. Mmm. As if hope and despair have been crudely mixed together to form demons. Let's cut to the chase. You're correct. It was my doing all along. I'm the one who hid the knife under the table before the party started. I'm the one who used the power cord to find my way to the table in the dark. And of course... I'm the one who caused the blackout. After all, there's no way I'd knowingly whip out a knife in front of everyone, right? Uh, is it just me, or does he seem a little nuts right now? <laughs> Why do I have to be standing right next to him? But I never expected Byakuya to have night vision goggles. Because of that, we had ourselves a little scuffle under the table. And, well, we all saw how that played out. Twist ending like this, I think we can all agree this ended up being a very interesting mystery. No, damn it, this isn't gonna be end up being him, is it? I don't know what he's trying, he's doing like what Tagami did that one other trial where it looked like it was gonna end up being Tagami and then it ended up being somebody else. I don't know what he's, I don't know what he's trying to do though, like, because there, there's still a bunch of stuff we haven't accounted for yet. The fact that I don't think he was killed by the knife, just about the skewer. There's the, the breaks in the floorboards. <laughs> Yakuya performed admirably. Just stop it already! Seriously! What the hell happened to you? Bananas is what happened. Is this your true nature? Were you lying to us this entire time? Me? Lie? That's outrageous. There's no way someone like me could ever lie to you guys. I understand better than anyone else that I'm ultimately worthless. I'm too arrogant to have dreams or cling to hope. Too disdainful to actually try at anything. I've made peace with the fact that I'm a lowly, stupid, insignificant human who can't do anything right. Uh. Holy crap! He's totally the type of guy who spent his childhood <laughs> killing neighborhood <laughs> Bah! And I'm gonna kill you and we'll get you right here! No! Get away from me! Bah! <laughs> The sort of person whose eyes light up while watching Friday the 13th, just like me. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's quite the hobby you have there. <laughs> but, like, now's not really the time to bring it up. I too like murdering things as a child. Wow, we should have so many things in common. We should be best friends. 
guy. Is he, is he the real Nagito? Hey, Nagito. If you were behind all of this, then did you also send that threatening letter? Yep, I sure did. There's nobody else on this island whose handwriting is that painful to look at, right? Seems to be very self-destructive, that's for sure. I don't know how... I don't know what the, how you describe that. I guess, I guess self-destructive. I don't know, but he hate but himself why did you though. Send a threatening letter in the first place. I think somewhere deep in my heart, I was probably hoping to find someone who would stop my evil deeds. Well, I bet if that really was my reason, at least some of you would feel sorry for me. Are you making fun of us by threatening Yakuya? Nagito was likely able to manipulate his actions. Then how about the old-looking building near the hotel? I'm just cleaning, leave it to me. I'm actually pretty good at it. In doing so, Nagito was able to manipulate everyone to the scene where the murder would occur. Am I wrong? That reminds me. Nagito was the one who suggested I guard the office. Well, now, not only is the storage room packed with lots of stuff, it's hard to see and they're full of cobwebs. I was so busy cleaning the tunnel that I didn't even have time to clean the storage room. You stay there, they've been f in there for a long time, but they would be bad for your health. In that case, why don't you go on the case in the office? Oh, I get it. If Paco was guarding the storage room, Nagito wouldn't have been able to use the irons. The threatening letter, along with all your suggestions, it was all a trap to manipulate us. Yep, that's true too. But you're wrong about one thing. Uh, huh? What? I didn't need to rig the drawing for cleaning duty, you know? If that's true, then how did you conveniently get picked for cleaning duty? I see. Well, there's no way I'd expect you to remember it. A worthless talent for a worthless human. <laughs> oh, he's a Luxter. He is talent. His talent is the ultimate. The ultimate lucky student. I am ultimate at luckiness. Ultimate lucky student. Then, did you? <laughs> I use my luck power. <laughs> That's right. kind of stupid. I just trusted my luck. I trusted I'd be picked for cleaning duty. You just relied on your luck? It's not just luck. It's true my talent sucks, but I'm still the ultimate lucky student. You know. Well, I'm living with the red mark. Oh, if someone called the ultimate look. Ah, someone called the ultimate look student, you don't seem very lucky right now. Or am I? <laughs> time, Hajime said I wasn't lucky, but it was actually the opposite. Okay, still, we're still not accounting for other things though, so I, I don't. Ah, damn it. I'm still confused a bit though. I mean, if this. I was lucky. That's why I got picked for cleaning duty, just like I wanted. Crazy eyes. Enough. That. I don't care about that anymore. More importantly, why did you kill Byakuya? Answer me! Byakuya was a very capable leader. For someone like him to get killed? The despairing police. It's only fitting that you symbols of hope should use his death as a stepping stone to shine even brighter. That was my only motivation. I knew it. You're, so it's like... He's like super, super hope, super crazy hope. You're not making any sense. <laughs> Fine, let's start the damn boat already. I'm ready to fucking kill this psycho. <laughs> yeah, really. Please, Please, wait. Huh? The fuck? Yes. So Mookie's gonna point out everybody's. Um, um, how should I put this? She's gonna say she wasn't killed by that knife, though. Say. He's already confessed, hasn't he? I already know that, but uh, there's just something a little strange. If it's only a little, then keep your mouth shut. Your ugly face is stressing me out. It makes me What is your cute. deal with her? Sion Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, for now, might I suggest we listen to what she has to say? We know who the killer is. Simply listening is 
acceptable. However, I won't allow this to end with mere play. Now then, let us lift the curtain for our bloody spectacle. <laughs> yeah, Tanaka, yeah. Bloody shit. From this point on, lines of white noise will appear to disrupt your reactions. Oh no. Your your truth bullets will disappear if they touch these lines, so think of them as obstacles in your debate. Please time your truth bullets right so they won't get interrupted by white noise. Oh, can I not can I not Oh, this dude was such a gentle white noise won't appear at all. And I can't break through it or something with like the X button? That, in that case, all this explanation didn't mean anything at all. It didn't mean whatsoever. Oh, please don't worry. I'm not going to fall into despair. Even though it's meaningless, allow me to say one more thing. So, babe, you won't be able to shoot down the white noise. That will be explained later. Ah, oh, balls. Okay, see, that's what I was thats what I was thinking. Okay. <laughs> Buki's account, Shaka's account, Kazuichi's account, Mikan, Mikan's autopsy report. Okay, it's the autopsy report. <laughs> So obviously Nagito. Okay, wait, just wait for it. Uh, he has already confessed. Oh, the these are the white noise, okay. You know, that bastard Nagito is the one who did it. <laughs> he Come on! Nagito with a knife he hit. Here we go. Wrong! No, that's wrong! Arr! I knew it. Ah, uh, damn it. So okay, now I don't know who the killer that knife is. Might not be the murder weapon. That's what you wanted to say, right, Mikon? What the hell are you talking about? It's obvious the knife was the murder weapon. But, but based on the entry of his on Yaki's body, the actual weapon should be roughly five millimeters in diameter. Five millimeters in diameter? That's like way skinnier than a knife. Hey, that better be true. If you screwed up, I'll sell your fucking ass to a whorehouse! Holy shit, dude. Good god. Calm down, Kuzuru. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Then I would have to show everyone my food crotch! Hey, why are you threatening her? Is this what you're trying to say, Mikan? As long as we can't prove that the knife is the murder weapon, we can't assume that I'm the killer. What are you saying? No one else can be the killer. It has to be you. Hey, don't blame me. Mikon's the one who said it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I ain't gonna apologize for shit. Hey, Nagito. Are you still hiding something? Uh, hiding? Like, during the blackout. Did something happen between you and Byakuya that we don't know about? Who knows? After all this, what else do you intend to hide? Jeez, the moment your back's against the wall, you get all silent. You piss me off. What happened during the blackout? Hmm. Oh. 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 If you cross your eyes like this, it gives you double vision. <laughs> Shut up, Abuki. Don't get distracted. Our lives are at stake. You We're know? all gonna die, dude. Huh? Whose life is at stake? Seriously, how long is it going to take for you to understand the damn rules? Nobody can see in the dark. No matter how hard you think about it, the truth is beyond your sight. Don't you think that's a pretty clever metaphor? Despite the fact that it came from me? No, that's not Jesus. it. Not it? What's not it? No, sir. no, that can't be it. Some way to find out what happened in the dark. Gaps and floorboards? Food crotch. Um. Oh, oh, here we go. Uh, Boogie's account, of course. I can prove it with this. Even if we couldn't see what happened in the dark, I'm pretty sure someone could have heard. It. Isn't that right, Boogie? Oh, real? <laughs> <laughs> Don't act so surprised, for fuck's sake. You told me, remember? While everyone was shouting during the blackout. We gotta stay calm in a situation like this. Ah, don't step on my feet! What the hell? What's going on here? This is. Ow! <laughs> yeah, <it's>, ow! <laughs> I, I thought it would be pretty funny if that was Tagami just getting stabbed. Like, ow! Ow, oh, balls! <laughs> Being stabbed repeatedly hurts like Turn fuck. Damn lights on! I can't eat 
like this, you know? You guys? Where are you? W wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. Such perceptive hearing. Impressive. I'd expect no less from the ultimate musician. It's a good thing your ears are awesome because your face, style, figure, and personality totally suck. <laughs> <laughs> You've cut me deep with your knife of truth. <coughs> However, after hearing what Byakuya and Nagito said in the dark... What the hell? What's going on here? This is... Ow! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> it almost sounds like... Byakuya fought back against Nagito or something. Well, that's actually what happened. Uh? As a sign of respect for Ibuki's talent, I have a small confession to make. I was actually shoved out from under the table by Byakuya. He shoved you out? Just as the blackout occurred, I hurried to duck under the table and grab the knife. But Byakuya, wearing his night vision goggles, caught me and shoved me right out from under the table. That's right. I'm so incompetent that I couldn't even grab the knife. So Bianca stopped him when he was trying to get the knife. He got shoved out from under the table before he could even grab it. Is this plausible? I mean, it's just from listening to what they both said at the time. What the hell? What's going on here? This is... Oh, he's... Oh, he must have seen the knife, and he goes... Ow! Herbert like that. No, actually. I think about it. That sounds exactly like After exactly what happened. After getting shoved out from under the table, I was just as confused as you guys. I lost sight of the glowing paint. I didn't even know where the power cord was. Okay, so then somebody was underneath the floorboards and stabbed him with the shish kebab skewer. Does that mean it's... it's gonna be Kuzuru? Because he was the only one who wasn't there? As looks like Tanaka found a way to get under the floorboards, right? Before I realized it, the lights had come back on. Yakuya's body was lying on the table. Huh, hold on! Are you saying you're not the killer? From the very beginning, the idea to throw a party, hiding the knife, setting up the blackout, it was all going according to plan. <laughs> all according to Aizen's plan. But unfortunately, my plan failed. And all thanks to Byakuya's night vision goggles. What happened after that? Even I don't know. So why'd you confess then? Like, if we were we were all gonna die except for the guy who comes along. You failed? Th then you're not the one who killed Byakuya? Then we're right back to square one! How can that be? We spent all this time talking back and forth! <laughs> and I need to shit! Other world is brimming with so much despair. But you can't give up. You need to have hope. Do your best and move forward. Alright, I really don't like you. <laughs> Rising to the challenge again and again is why you guys are the symbols of hope. Can we just kill him now? Can we kill him on a Yeah, he's kinda of pissing me off too. I like talking about despair, but fucking hope. Fuck that shit! <laughs> you did me, Commander! Nagito really not the killer? Is this, is this guy really the Nagito I knew before? No, there's no way I could say that. I just thought I knew him, but this whole time I didn't know anything about this guy. He's fucking psycho. <laughs> I knew there was something fucking weird about him. No it's as simple as that. But now I can't hang out with him anymore after this, because of fucking bullshit. That's fu that's stupid. That's just stupid. That's like... I hate when games do that. It's like... Because I didn't hang out with him with a... My first two tries, where well, the game made me look like I had an option, but now it's like, oh, no, never mind. But, okay, so who would the real killer be, then, in this case? The only person I can think of would be Kuzuru, because he wasn't in there, but he must have found a way to get under the floorboards. Unless... Well, we haven't been in the bathroom yet. Was there, like, a hole in the floor there? But No, 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 no. The P.E.K.K.A. would have done it, but I don't know. But now's not time to do, for me to dwell on that. We need to find Byakuya's killer. I think it's sir. Because we don't. We are fucked. <laughs> what?
Last trial suspended? Marco Lelli! Now then, class trial has reached its climax, but here's a question for you! <laughs> what is this? To those of you who guessed, figured out who it is, how about you try the Guess the Killer Challenge? Whoever fails to guess the right killer will have their same day melt away like butter! <laughs> but guess right, I'll warn you with a ten billion dollars! <laughs> What if I play the original game of this and I already know who it is? Then it doesn't count! You don't get ten billion dollars! Ten billion dollars? Of course, for those of you who don't know who the killer is, you can just continue on! What are you gonna do? Really? <laughs> just kidding! You can't make a choice! Ah! Uh. No way to be able to guess who the killer is! <laughs> oh, of course there's no ten billion! There's no ten billion dollars! No! You're so evil. Villain, you truly are a villain. <laughs> <laughs> wow, way to totally ruin the mood, Monokuma. What the freaking fruity fuck? Now you're telling me, you're telling me there's still more, and I'm gonna save in the middle of this? Class trial. So I have to go investigate some more. Son of a freaking doodle nugget. Ah. Okay. Well, I guess I'll have to save that for next time. Son of a bitch. Well, the only thing I was thinking think of was Kuzuru, but that also seems too obvious because he wasn't the only one, only one that wasn't there. So, my God, who could have possibly done the evil, devious demon thing that needs that did the doodly do, babe? I don't know. I, 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 are we gonna? When he's just interrupted, we're we gonna be go go do some other stuff now, or are we come back, or what exactly? But uh, it definitely had to be under the floorboards of the shish kebab skewer. Just don't have any idea who or why. Anyway, uh, like for you enjoyed this video, subscribe now to hop board the SLP where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. Oh, and uh, become a picky penguin. <laughs> I keep forgetting to add that. You're also become a picky penguin. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, till next time, guys. Stay classy.